My definition of self-love is when you're okay with being the way you are. In my opinion, you don't really have to love yourself to experience self-love. Self-love is when you can look in the mirror and you find what you see and that you accept your flaws. Growing up, I had no confidence in myself at all. I didn't like my hair, my nose, how big my feet were, how taller I was than others. But as I began to get older, I started loving myself more and accepting all the things that I did not like. I thought that you needed to have a certain type of hair or a certain type of skin color to be pretty. There's no specific thing that makes me feel more confident about myself. I just grew up and accepted myself for who I am and that's how I got my confidence. If the opinions of others influence my self-image, never has and never will. My mother and grandmother made sure I was brought up very confident regarding my looks. I had a time when I felt less confident when I was ill. In that period, I did not feel like myself and my body was weak. That affected my social life. And not everybody can understand that unless they become sick. The quality I admire most about myself is that I never, never give up. I'm not a, I'm not a quitter. I always go through with what I want, and it might take a while sometimes, but eventually, it always pays off in the end. And I'm really happy I'm built that way. Do the opinions of others influence your self-image? I want to say no, but yes. It's easy to think in your mind that those opinions don't matter and don't define you as a human being, but it's harder to put in practice. Still, it's important to take the high road. It's important to look the other way and trust yourself. As long as you're doing the right thing and you're interested in creating value and contributing to the world, you shouldn't care what anyone else thinks or says.